something very different. If you hear my GPS on, it's because I am going to the murder scene of a double homicide which occurred in 2019, the end of October. It was the 29th to 31st. I think it was the 29th, I'm not sure, but basically Halloween. Um, up the road for me. After 500 yards, turn right, then take the second right. So you're basically coming for a ride with me. I know my camera's a little crooked. The car mount isn't in great shape. All right, so I got to turn here. Um, I know how to get to it. I just don't know. Turn right, the, then take the second right. The exact house. So I am going to go see it. After 200 oh, yards, so turn right, right, then here. turn right. Wow, I didn't know this was the, um, I didn't know this was the road. Wow. Oh, terrible. See, they just rebuilt this. This is where I was filming all, they were building everything. So this is, oh, I turned in the wrong one. Well, that's okay. These are all for sale. Wow. Let me see. I was supposed to turn the next one over, not this one. Ugh. It's okay. You guys know how it is. Push my After camera. After 15 yards, turn left. It's been raining all day. I did some footage of turn right. the brook. So this is the one. I turned to one right before. Okay, Falcon. It's a no outlet. Oh, interesting. Now, they're not going to have the red cautionary tape, of course. I just want to see the murder scene myself. These poor neighbors. Um, he was seen through his kitchen window in a chair. He After was, 200 yards, turn right. He was bludgeoned. And he had a bag over his head. And he was also, he was beaten with a baseball bat. Suffocated. Turn and, right, then. And stabbed. All right, so I see Pellegrine. All right, I'm going to turn my GPS off, guys, because this is the location. This is horrible. Um... I'm not sure which house. Oh, here it is. Somebody's actually living in it? You gotta be shitting me. Ew. I mean, the living room light is on. Okay, um, I'm gonna go up here and turn around and I'm gonna show you guys because this is a dead end right here. And this is the whole entire house right here. <sighs> yeah, I see how the road is gonna come open from ShopRite. Like, this is just for somebody to just do this right here. These homes are cute. This is just very sad. All right, let me switch around. This is the home of the murder. God, I just... It's horrible. I don't think anybody is in here. I'm not sure, but there is a living room light. And they said in the report, which I will attach to this video, that he was seen through the front window into the living room. 
she was found on the first floor bedroom. This right here is the garage. So right up here is the bedroom. And then he was in the living room. So let me drive up and turn around. And this is the home. This is the front. And when they walked by, they looked right there in the living room window and they seen him in there on a chair. I can't imagine this just occurred three months ago and that somebody is living here unless they just are keeping a living room light on. I don't know what to tell you. It's a very pretty home. This is just a shame. It's just terrible to even think that this happened. I will include um, pictures of the story, but this is legit. Only several miles up the road from my house in a quaint, quiet town. I had to pause because somebody came by. Well, may they rest in peace. The son did it, killed his parents. They were like 74 years old or something. But he is incarcerated in jail. He was caught at a Pennsylvania casino at a blackjack table just gambling away after he stole thousands of dollars out of their bank account. Why he did it, I just don't know. But it's sad.